Every minute, nearly 20 people across the country are physically abused by their partner. That is a sobering number from the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. A Pueblo West woman is sharing her survival story tonight in hopes of helping others. She's telling her story exclusively to KRDO News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel. He would grab me by my neck and throw me down and throw my head on the ground a few times. And this happened for two, about two hours. This is how Danielle Huffman documented her abuse last year with the help of a professional photographer. Ugly, stupid, a liar. She says that's how her abuser made her feel. They just tear you down every day and you feel like you deserve it. Danielle says it wasn't the first time her then husband abused her, but she promised herself it would be the last. Just two months into her marriage, she called it quits. I finally realized that this could be the end of it. It could be the end of me. Lord, I just ask that you would just continue to come into this room, Lord. We Danielle wanted a place where she and other domestic violence survivors could share their stories. <laughs> but when she couldn't find one, she started her own group here at Family Worship Center, each woman leaning on the other for strength. They know what I'm feeling. Just that support is huge. It definitely makes you feel like you're not alone, um, and it definitely empowers you to speak up and tell your story. At tonight's meeting, an unfortunate realization. Four of the women are 25 and under. It's way more common than people think. I mean, I have friends that are going through some stuff similar, but they're not acknowledging the signs. Despite all the pain, they're coming together to heal, and now even smile. I truly believe that my story can help other people. In Pueblo, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks, Michelle. And the group meets every Wednesday night. For more information, head over to our website, KRDO.com.